All signs are pointing toward high-tech industrial growth in Wood County. Now, 50 new jobs could be headed to the area if this new storage data facility is built. 13 Action News reporter J.D. Foley has the story that's all new tonight. Big Tech appears to be making an investment here in Wood County. Officials are keeping the name under wraps, but they say the investment will be substantial. I think I've mentioned before, kind of get us away from our rust belt, uh, you know, the atmosphere that we've sometimes have here. That's the hope of Wood County Commissioner Craig LaHote. By giving Limes LLC, who has already purchased a little over 300 acres just north of Ohio 582 and west of Mercer Road, south of Perrysburg, a tax abatement. It's a, it's a data storage center, and uh, along with that comes a lot of technology that will go into those into the, uh, the buildings. LaHote, along with colleagues Doris Herringshaw and Dr. Ted Bullis, on Thursday approved a 75% tax abatement for 15 years on the $750 million total investment so far. Uh, it's kind of sending the message that we, we're a destination for high-tech type companies. And, and we hope that it draws others to continue to come to the area as well. Wade Gottschalk, executive director of Wood County Economic Development, says the location was a big draw. For data centers, they're huge power users. There's that uh, relatively new First Energy substation kind of just to the north boundary of the site with the, you know, right off those 345 uh, lines that run through there. Um, so that gives them that access that they need. That's their primary right, driver. Right? They have to be relatively close to, to very large power. Gottschalk says when and if ground is broken, and given the fact that data centers have a much higher per square foot evaluation than the typical industrial building, Eastwood and Otsego school districts could come out on top down the road. In the future, and it will be somewhat into the future, um, you know, they could get out a, a pretty good amount of money. I mean, we'd estimate, you know, on the phase one, um, you know, it could be up to around a million dollars in total um, per year. Development sometimes comes with houses and students, but in this case, it's just going to be a, a data center. There won't be any uh, residential growth around that that we don't anticipate, so it won't put any additional burden on the schools. In Bowling Green, J.D. Pooley, 13 Action News.